I truly believe that modular home companies are going to be the thing that actually helps solve the affordability crisis here in the United States. Depending on what statistic you look at, the United States is short between three to seven million homes that we need to have built for the future generations coming to look for an affordable place to live. The problem is that it's very difficult to build that many homes over a period of time, but you can do it with modular home construction. Over the last several years, there have been modular home companies that have tried to address this problem. And I don't feature a lot of these modular home companies, most mostly because they're new, they have a really good plan, they have a really good dream, they have a price point that's really low, and they have a big investment backing. They're looking to get more and more investors in on their idea and their dream, but they haven't produced any houses. And this really actually puts a bad taste in my mouth. So I have not featured many, but these are the companies that I think that we should really be taking a look at help us actually solve the affordability crisis. The first one I really wanna show you is the one I'm most excited about, which is Zenny Homes. And the reason I'm I'm mostly excited about it is because the people that are backing it currently are not just some like dreamer. These are people that have done businesses in the past and have proven record of making successful businesses. If you've ever flown on an airplane and you remember Sky Mall, this guy is the guy that created Sky Mall. He's doing these affordable modular homes out of Arizona, which is pretty exciting. They have created a home, the cheapest ones I've seen are around $90,000. And the type of homes that he's creating are stackable. So you could get one of the $90,000 homes and stack them on top of each other. I know you've seen this kind of project done before. He's even made them so you could even make multifamily units, which is incredible, especially if you're trying to create like a duplex or a triplex for yourself. So that way you could have some rental properties of your own. The other thing that I think is really great about them is the fact that they have utilized the Navajo Nation as part of the place where they have started their very first plant. And they're trying to help solve the affordability crisis and the home crisis they have in the Navajo Nation. If you don't know, it's been long standing that they haven't had enough homes in that area as well. So he took his plant, his factory over to the Navajo Nation. He's hired people within the Navajo Nation to help build his homes, and he's helping them build their own homes in that specific area. I love this whole entire idea of this company, and I think it's definitely one to watch in 2024. They were the first company and the only company that I reached out to that was willing to talk to me, and there's been several articles written about them, and they do have a factory and they do have models that you can actually tour. They're not just some drawing on a website. And you know as well as I do, I can't stand when they only have renderings of a house. No, they really actually have houses that are meant for people to look at. The thing is, is that they are even addressing the certain kinds of aspects of the area that they're building these specific homes in so they could be considered even off the grid. Or you could use them housing in areas that are considered really desert-like so that way you could like grab water from the air so that way it would be more self-sustainable. It's not just that they're making an affordable home, they're creating environmentally conscious homes. In this day and age, that is something that is very important to me and I'm sure it is to you as well. So that is the modular home company I think we, that we really need to be looking at in 2024. I think it was gonna be making big waves into the future. I'm very excited about it. They said I could come and tour their factory soon. So when they do, I'll let you guys know and you guys will be the first ones to see it, I promise. If you do wanna see Zenny Homes prototypes, you can go to Mesa, Arizona, and they do have a factory there where you can see some of them. The company also broke ground with a development partner who invested in the seed round in 2022 on a 90 unit, 70 foot tall apartment and rent project. The models are new and mid-rise and only two blocks apart for visitors who wanna see the Zenny Homes first products firsthand. So if you wanna go out there and take a look, there are actual buildings out there. It's not made up, it's not renderings. Have you ever heard of a hurricane proof house? This was something I had never heard of until I started really studying about modular home construction. That's when I got into like monolithic homes. Dell Tech Homes out of Asheville, North Carolina actually has what they consider to be a hurricane proof house. If you look on the website, it says hurricane resistant. But according to this Yahoo News article, they are saying it, it's hurricane proof. They say that their homes can withstand 190 mile an hour winds. And if you're thinking about buying a house because of the changing weather patterns in the United States, this is something you should definitely take a look at, especially since weather has gotten absolutely crazy. And if you're in a hurricane area like Louisiana, Texas, Florida, Alabama, you know, hurricane zones all the way up through North Carolina, you can understand why that maybe this is be the perfect modular home company for you. I love me a monolithic dome home. They've been around forever. This is a proven model that has worked for a very long time. It isn't necessarily the most innovative type of construction, but 
they have created with Dell Tech some really interesting, beautiful looking homes that not only are gonna be safe for you, they're also gonna be energy efficient. Little word of warning for any company that is doing anything like this. If they are brand new and you've never heard of them before, you wanna see their actual homes that they have built in the past. The second thing is, where are they building these houses? Can you go visit the factory? If they say, well, we're in production right now, we haven't built our factory, do not invest or put down a down payment on a company that doesn't have homes available for you to tour or a factory for you to tour. Another thing for you to consider, I want you to find out if they have any news articles written about that specific company and call the author of that article. I just had this happen recently, not with Dell Tech, with another company that I was going to feature because they did have actual pictures of homes and it looked like they had real people talking about the houses that they got. And then when I actually looked up the author, they didn't exist. I couldn't find them on LinkedIn. I could not find them on Facebook. Could not find them anywhere. So I eventually called the publication. Come to find out that article just disappeared. It doesn't exist. And then I done some more digging and then found out that a lot of these articles are paid for and AI writes the articles. So just be very cautious and careful whenever you're looking at any type of home, whether it be modular, manufactured, or even just regular construction. Just make sure that you understand who it is you're getting in business with and do your due diligence ahead of time. People are scamming everywhere. And I just want you to be really careful. That's why I do these types of videos. But Dell Tech is a really good company to take a look at. And so is Zenny Homes. But let's talk about one more. So not all manufactured modular home companies necessarily build the house. And what I mean by this is that they may actually build the components in the factory, but it's up to you to find a contractor in order to put the house together. They even may even have some people in the area that they may know to help you put the house together, but they're basically selling you the model of the house and you have to hire the contractors to put together. And that's what I found out about Impreza Homes. I don't know much about this company. I was not able to get a hold of them, but several of you have asked me to take a look at them. I did find on the Better Business Bureau, they only had one star. So it was worth noting that when I did my research on the specific company, that I did find an old blog post that did state that this modular home company has the plans to put them together, but it doesn't necessarily put them together for you. So it's an interesting concept. I don't know if this is gonna be really a successful one in 2024, but I do see more and more people going into the DIY your own house kind of idea. It is a company to take a look at, and several of these companies are popping up more and more. And and it'll be interesting if that will be something that is going to be more of like a catalyst to more things to come in 2024. So let me know your opinion. Do you think this is going to be something that's going to work into the future generations as more and more people do a DIY? Or do you think that this is a, a not a really great idea? So there is a misconception when it comes to modular homes that they will be less expensive for you to put together than it would be for a traditional style home. And in some cases that is the case, but in most cases it's not going to be. Because a modular home is actually just a regular built home. It just so happens that those pieces are built in the factory and then they're put together on site once those components get there. You can have it done in half the time that you would a traditional style home. In most cases, when it comes to modular homes, they are going to be built to better standards than a traditional built home. And they're gonna have better energy efficiency as well. And that's what appeals to a lot of people when it comes to modular homes. I know I get a lot of questions about that because I do talk about affordability quite a bit. Modular home companies Companies have been answering the call with ADUs and building them to modular specifications, and they've been putting more of those out recently. So that's why I do talk about modular homes quite a bit. I do think that they are a better quality home, in my opinion. Don't think that they're the cheap house. They're going to be right in line with your traditional built homes. And one of my favorite companies that I talk about, and I mentioned them in 2023, and now we're going to mention them in 2024, Westchester Modular Homes out of New York. And they make the most beautiful homes I've ever seen. Now they do them all the way from like little itty bitty homes all the way up, but mostly they're building the larger custom built modular construction and they are high end and they are beautiful. And I wanted to mention them because if you have that mindset that you want a good energy efficient, well-built home built in a shorter period of time and you live in that New England area, go ahead and check out Westchester Modular Homes. They're absolutely stunning. Now I have no skin in the game to mention them. They do not give me any kind of kickback. None of these companies do. I just really know 
that they do do a quality product and they've been doing it for a long time. Now, if you're wanting a more well-known modular home company that has a bigger footprint across the United States, I'm gonna tell you to take a look at Palm Harbor Homes, but I want you to be very specific when you go into their sites to ask them for their modular home constructed houses because when they do make modular homes and manufactured homes, they'll try to sell you on something called a hybrid. I'm not saying this company will, but don't buy a hybrid. Either you want a manufactured home or you want a modular home. Now, modular homes are gonna appraise at a higher level than they would with a manufactured home. The difference between a manufactured home and a modular home is a manufactured home is usually just the one piece that goes across. They can get double wide or triple wide, but it's usually one long cylinder that goes all the way across. Now, with a modular home constructed house, they're just like any other house that you would have built. They have different segments that are put together. They don't have that same look as a manufactured home, which is the straight piece across. They're also built to the same building codes as they would for a traditional home. Manufactured homes are built to HUD standards. In most states, you're gonna have a plate on the back and they have different types of financing when it comes to manufactured homes in comparison to modular homes. But that will be the most national brand modular home company that you should be looking at in 2024. Just be very clear on what you want when you go in there. Don't let them talk you into something hybrid because they're not gonna appraise the same when you're selling it in the future. They're not taxed the same. They're not insured the same. So make sure you're getting a true modular. But that is a good stepping stone for you to take a look at is Palm Harbor Homes. And that is a national brand and they're across the country. You can pretty much find them anywhere. Another bonus to Palm Harbor Homes, they usually have the best pricing when it comes to modular homes as well. So Palm Harbor Homes is gonna have like the best price per square foot. But I'm gonna warn you again, make sure you get a modular. Modular, 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 not manufactured if that's what you're truly looking for. Energy efficient, price conscious, check them out. I've been a big fan of modular homes for a very long time. I had no idea until I became a real estate agent how incredibly well built they were. I think it is the answer to the affordability crisis because they can be built very quickly and very efficiently and build a very good product for people quickly. Who knows if this is gonna be the thing that maybe more governments will allow. It's one of the things that it has been very restrictive because when they hear modular, they think that it's going to be something that looks more like a manufactured home. And it's gonna be up to us to start informing some of these districts, especially in areas that are highly populated that do need a lot of housing, that modular homes could be the solution for their area. So after you've seen all these houses, which one do you think is going to be the best for 2024? Let me know in the comment section below. To watch more videos about modular homes and modular home companies, you're gonna to wanna to watch these videos right here. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer, and I tell you all this because good real estate information matters.